what is the worst thing you can imagine? Probably when you realize after two or three days and you took hundreds of images that all your images look like this. My name is Jens and welcome on my YouTube channel Another Perspective. Today I'm going to show you four hacks how you can avoid ruining all your images as I did in the last shoot. Dust spots on a sensor can become a very serious problem, especially when you use interchangeable lens systems as I do. I got here the Sony A6300 and the 90mm macro lens and I'm exchanging my lenses very very often. So there's always coming a little bit of dust on the sensor. So my first tip for you is, every time you exchange a lens, use a rocket blower and remove rough dust spots. This works very, very good when the dust spots are loose or very big, but the best thing is to avoid dust. Therefore, I would recommend to hold the camera in this position while exchanging the lens, then the risk is very low that the dust spots are reaching the sensor. The camera you just saw in the video is the Sony a 7 r Some cameras, as this camera, offer a mode to remove dust spots I'm going to show you right now. If your camera offers a cleaning mode, remove the lens and hold the camera again in this position. Then the sensor will shake as hard as it can and shake off all the dust spots. Here I got some pretty interesting slow-mo footage. But what if this does not have at all? My Sony A6300, for example, was so dirty, it was impossible to remove all the dust spots. So for this kind of problem, I got one more hack for you. No, it's not actually a hack, it's we need some gear. But before I want to show you my favorite item to clean a sensor, let's just see what happens when we use the rocket blower. I have no idea what happened to my camera, but it's actually just impossible to get rid of all the dirt. If you have any idea what might happen with my camera sensor, feel free to let me know. And finally, this is my solution if nothing works. A gill stick and sticky tape. Push the gill stick slightly on the camera sensor and the gill stick will take off all the dust spots. Then push the gill stick on the sticky tape and the dust spots will remain on the sticky tape. When I used it the first time, I was really scared because I didn't want to damage my camera sensor. But I must say, it is pretty safe and it works very, very good. And this is really the only option. Of course, there are some other cleaning tools like when you use some liquid on your sensor to pull off some dust spots. But for me, this just feels the best solution. It comes with such a nice box so that the gear stick will not become dry. Yeah, this is a really nice tool and I do recommend it. You can buy this on Amazon, for example, and it costs between 10 and 40 euro. But what if you took your hundreds of images and you forgot to check and clean your sensor? Then there is one hack I'm going to show you in the software. So let's jump directly into Lightroom and use the dust removal tool. As in this image I had to use like 100 clicks to remove all the dust spots from the image and then there's an option to copy this to other images. So if you use the same camera the dust spots are always at the same position and you can save a lot of time using this function. I'm sorry that I only have Lightroom in Germany. You have to go to develop settings then activate spot removal only and then you can paste it to any image you want. And I want to know what is your favorite tool to clean the sensor. I think I'm gonna stick with the rocket blower because it is pretty strong. Okay, I had some issues with the Sony A6300, but it does really a great job because it's pretty cheap, it's pretty strong and it will really deliver. If you think this video was helpful, I'd really appreciate a like. Maybe you wanna even consider subscribing. I'm doing a lot of technical stuff Photography ideas you can try at home, for example. Stay healthy and hopefully see you in the next video.